In this video, we'll take a quick look at performing a site survey. The specific product we're going to be using is a DBS 210 base station with a 6825 DEC phone. These are three PCC phone devices which are actually provisioned with WebEx calling. And there's a general statement that the admin guide gives us about this product regarding the coverage. So it says here each base station has a radio coverage of about 164 feet, 50 meters indoors, and up to 984 feet or 300 meters outdoors. And then it gives us a general statement that, and I'll read it verbatim, however, there can be interference with other equipment as well as poor coverage because of wall and door construction. So obviously material density, um, also reflections that could occur. Whenever working with RF radio frequency, you can imagine it being very similar to acoustics, low frequency, mid-range, and high frequency. So woofer, mid-range speaker, and tweeter. And obviously each one of those has different characteristics as far as propagation and reflection. Um, and also different type of attenuation within a room and through walls. In this case, this equipment is not Wi-Fi equipment, so it, it is not using 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. It's actually using a DEC technology for radio, which in North America is using the 1920 megahertz to 1930 megahertz RF band. And then the next thing we'll see here is to perform an actual site survey on the decked 6825, we're going to press the menu button, which is the button with the three horizontal lines. And then we're going to enter in asterisk 47 asterisk. And this is going to get us a list of base station and repeaters within range. And then we're going to, we're going to view this in a moment then we're going to actually do a site survey. Typically the goal is to stay within the green range. That means the signal has to be at least negative 69 dB or stronger. Stronger meaning the number should be lower than negative 69 dB and no greater. So if you have negative 50 dB, negative 40 dB, those will be stronger numbers. As we get closer to zero, that is an indicator of a stronger signal. Okay, we're going to start the site survey, hitting the button with three horizontal bars, asterisk, four, seven, asterisk. And now if we take a look at the actual screen, it'll show us the base station it found, which is local. So I'm going to have actually part of this blurred out for obvious reasons, but when you're doing a site survey, obviously you'll be able to see all that information. And we see it's a very strong negative 44 dBm. So that's a very strong signal. Obviously, it also gives the status strong. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up and I'm going to do some walking around. And we're, we're going to see the signal slowly get weaker. So the actual negative number will increase. So we're negative 48 dBm right now. And generally, if you're doing a site survey, you, you'd want to have a top-down floor map of each of the floors that you're conducting the survey. And you'd want to walk a few feet, maybe 5 feet, 10 feet, whatever is appropriate for the area that you're going to be doing the site survey. And then you'd want to go ahead and document the actual dB level and almost create like a grid chart for each of the floors you'll be surveying. Okay, so we just went up uh, negative 50 dB there. And you may see some ups and downs here and there. Okay, so I, I just, I actually jumped ahead a little bit going down the stairs now. So if you notice, we jumped up to negative 62 dB, negative 64 dB, negative 66, 68. In any case, every so many feet, you would want to document the dBm level and create like a little grid to figure out how good of a coverage do you have for each of the base stations and what type of overlap. Okay, so we're negative 70, we're getting a weak status right now. 
So meaning that the actual connection in this area of the building can be sketchy at this point of time. Okay, we've gone even weaker now, 74 dBm. So this is where we need to make considerations. How many base stations do we need? If you need to do multiple base stations, you do want to use the DBS 210 base stations because that allows for multi-cell deployment, especially if you're doing if you're deploying this with WebEx calling. And you definitely, at the time of viewing this video, would want to read the documentation to understand what capacities WebEx calling supports for the DEC deployment. Okay, so we, we just got a little bit stronger signal. So very similar to acoustics, as you, meet, as you move to different parts of the building and room, the propagation of this RF spectrum um, will vary as far as how it can propagate to, through the walls, materials, reflections, um, attenuations. There also may be cancellation, null spots, and there may be other spots where you actually get the signal amplifying. Okay, so we'll kind of continue walking here. I am on the first floor. The actual base station, I have two of them, uh, are on the second floor, but I'm focusing only on one base station. When we go back to the second floor, I'll show you what it looks like just briefly with the second ba base station. Okay, so I just hit the staircase section where the signal tends to be weak. And as I turn a corner here and get closer to the area where the base station is located at, we should see a little jump in the signal here. Okay, so we're negative 68. We're getting a little bit of stronger signal. Okay, 62. Okay, negative 60 so as you notice we're increasing okay so I, I just kind of jumped now um, as I sat down there's a lot of shaking under the unit but in any case if you notice the second base station uh, the unit now found so you would kind of do the same thing with the second base station hopefully this video helps you with doing a basic site survey using the decked 6025 phone with the DBS 210 base station the same concept applies using the DBS 110 base station. Please view the documentation. If this is a deployment that will be used with WebEx calling to understand what is supported and what might not be supported, what are the capacities. Thank you very much.